Good morning, game changers and soul warriors. What is up? It is I, Juniper Bloom Mystique. I am an Ascension Master, Master Healer and Divine Guide. That is the simplest way to put who I am, for I have been the one bringing about the Ascension for the last almost four years now. Um, it is all proven and witnessed on my channel, okay? The way spirituality works, the way energy works, is you do something in the energy and it puts it back out for return, okay? So that is why what I do works the way that it works, okay? It started again with my awakening. I've done things to the planet. I've done things healing people. But we rose Atlantis. I cleared Mount Shasta, um, awakened Fiji, opened the God portals, um, fixed the sun and the moon multiple times, woke up my DM, freed Jesus and Mary Magdalene, Adam and Eve, Sekhmet and Horus. And then in the end, after we masculine... Act we, after we activated all kinds of pyramids, including the masculine ones, I dried up the Nile. Okay, the Nile happened on June 24th of this year. Um, Jesus and Mary Magdalene were united on Christmas, and I undid the false Holy Grail. And again, all of it has come through me and to me, and it occurs on this channel. Okay, please check it out. Please do your research because everything is there. All right. Um, not only did I predict what was going to happen to the submersible. Um, I do things and then predict things as well. So please check out the channel because the proof is there. Okay. I have an Ascension playlist, which makes it easier. A lot is on there, but not everything. Um, so please do check that out. I also have three channels in total. One is Hertz Music, one is Missing People and Unsolved Cases. Now I'm going to drink my particularly warm, yummy coffee before I talk about what we're going to talk about today. Mmm. You see that? Pugs and Kisses. I used to have a puggle. He was one of my favorite dogs. Minus my angel now, but she's a little ornery firecracker, so I don't know. She made me mad yesterday. But what I want to talk about today is something, okay? I got a message last night, and I guess De La Roca's channel got shut down. De La Roca, just from our everyday lives, he, um, he is connected. What's crazy is that I will do things, and for people that have followed me many years know this to be true. Um, because people do my workshops, it's all been witnessed what I do. But you can watch what I do, and then you'll see people like him talk about it in the energy. So true star seeds and light workers get downloads of the work that I do, because it's all in the Akashic Records. Um, and so that's why. You can actually look at my channel, look back through my channel, and compare. Okay, I will do things, and then other light workers and star seeds will see it. Now I said... With the last activations that we have done and the DM not showing up, that we are vulnerable. And I said that again. And they're, they're again. So I have two DMs. My first one got um, taken down by a fallen angel and chose darkness. And he died. And that happened on August 30th, almost one year ago, that I lost my DM and I got a new one. It's been almost a year. And we were supposed to unite a long time ago. So unfortunately, they picked somebody with a pure heart, but he's still choosing into the darkness, and I don't know why. Um, fear is what they're saying. So because of fear, he is choosing into the darkness. But I warned that we were going to be retaliated upon. Um, we are. It started with threats of arrest. I got a weird threat of being arrested, so to Trump at the same time is not a joke. And I had told you guys it was smoke screens, don't pay attention to it, and that dissipated. It went away. Because um, I've never been in trouble. Well, when I went through the Sekhmet portal, I talked about this being a money one. So Sekhmet was murdered, like I told you. That's the return of Christ, was calling back the power of every lifetime that God was murdered. Taken down by darkness, and that's what happened to all of you. So you've been living in hell, essentially. Please watch the videos. Don't judge, because judgment is not of God, and it really does hurt you. And if you found me, you have a chance to awaken and ascend. So please do not take that for granted. I'm not a cult. De La Rocca wasn't a cult. Do you want to know what a cult is? Teal Swan is a cult. Okay. Teal Swan actually has a compound where people come and live there and they can't talk about certain things. They can't do certain things. They're very controlled in the environment. Um, people have killed themselves under her, whatever you want to call what the hell she is. She's a cult leader. That's a cult leader. Okay. You want to know what a true cult leader is? But see, this is what they do is they like to spew a lot of darkness into the light so that they can make people realize that light's not good and that's not correct. Okay, so he will be back. His channel was shut down. He will be back. Now, the day his channel was shut down, I got an eviction notice. 
So when I went in through the portal of Sekhmet, I said, all of a sudden my world started crumbling. And they, they gave me all these gifts in there and said I would have all these blessings. And literally, immediately I had everything come against me. Money stopped coming in. Um, when my DM didn't show up at Christmas time, I couldn't work the crisis line much more. So when my first DM took off, same thing. I almost got evicted from my home. Couldn't work anymore because it wasn't in my heart center. And I'm not a paid creator yet. And I was dealing with battles and everything else. So for me to, to, to care at that time and to allow myself to be judged was very difficult. Um, so now my DM didn't show up again. And they kept saying that I'm vulnerable. I'm in danger. I thought that would be enough. But it apparently was not. Um, I love him. Don't get me wrong, but I can only put out so much love and never get any back in return. <laughs> I hope he does show up. I really do because now I'm scared. Um, if this DM doesn't show up and he doesn't get to ascend, we're attached. And so I don't know what's going to happen. I deserve to ascend. So, um, again, he'll hurt his family and himself. But I, I don't want to put that out there. I have faith he's going to come. He had a pure heart. And I don't think he wants to hurt his kingdom. Maybe he doesn't understand the full aspect of who he is and the responsibility he has because it is our kingdom and it is our job to protect it, especially his. So if the DM had showed up like he was supposed to, none of this would be happening. But there was a huge wave of retaliation. It hit me the same day it hit De La Roca, which I find quite interesting. But I am not a paid creator. Okay. Um, I wish I was because I could sure use the help right now. Everybody wants stuff for free, you know, like lots everywhere you go. Um, but <clears throat> all of the sudden, my money stopped coming in. And I've been telling everybody, like, I could freak out. It looks like my whole world is ending. I could go into panic. I could freak out and I could quit. But I think that's what they want us to do. Okay. I think they want us to quit. I think they want me to sabotage. Um, I keep hearing a song from the DM that I don't know is positive. Um, I'm trying not to put any negative energy towards that and assume anything. Because I do know he had a white heart. He had a pure heart. So I'm hoping that he's not going to fall prey to all the things that doesn't matter. Because it is his kingdom. And it is my kingdom. And it's a responsibility to protect it. And that's not a joke. They have said this thousands of times over. My DM and I energetically combined over two years ago. My other one died a year ago. And I've been in a battle of hell since I united with my twin flame because of what he did. Okay. And this new one was supposed to show up right away. And again, did not. Then I got attacked again. Okay. I'm not physically being attacked anymore. We healed that. We cleared that energy. And that person is no longer in the light at all. Um, but I will tell you right now that we are being retaliated upon. And I find it interesting that De La Roca's channel was shut down. And he doesn't, like, he speaks the truth. He speaks of God. He speaks of the rapture of the wave. And it's funny because he'll speak of the stuff that I do, which is why I talk about him. You know, and I, I pulled up his name this morning. And this lady has all these accounts like, oh, he's a cult leader. And, like, I'm just like, these people are nuts, right? It's very painful what the darkness does. It's bullshit. It's painful, it's stupid, okay, it's very hurtful, and all it's doing is hurting anybody who will listen to it. If you look back on my channel, the other day I said that we were going to have retaliation for what I did. That was after I did the activations in the Congo, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Kenya, um, Kilimanjaro, and British Columbia. And that's when those fires started, you can actually watch it. But when I did that, I said in there they were going to retaliate because we went underneath the White House. Now, here's something really cool. My old DM, the one that died, let's be clear about that. The DM that died because he kept choosing darkness. I've talked about him a lot. He was a drug dealer. Okay, he was into drugs and that's why he didn't want to be with me. He chose drugs. But I had to clear that on my own. I talk about that. And all I've ever done was smoke pot. But all of a sudden, it was like the worst cravings, the worst addiction you can imagine. And I had to hold very, very strong against it. And I did really good until he died and my new one didn't show up. And then I've had a couple moments where of self-sabotage. That brings us into segment. Um, but my DM did coke. And I talk about that a lot. Coke was his drug of choice. And spirit told me to hold my boundaries, you know, but I went too hard in my boundaries. 
Um, and I just, I, I wouldn't do that. And I didn't want him around my kids with it. And he didn't want to change. Um, and he was treating me like shit. And that's kind of what happened in our relationship. And then we energetically combined and he took off with a fallen angel to where I almost died. And I spent a year fighting for my soul back. And I finally won my soul back. Okay. But then he still chose darkness and God said enough, took his soul out of his body and put it into a new DM. This is very real. And it played out on my channel and the videos are there. You can watch that workshop. I uploaded it for people to see because it is biblical and it does matter. But he did coke. <laughs> if you're paying attention, there was a coke bust exposure of the White House. And when I activated the pyramids and Kilimanjaro and all that with the DM's energy, his energy was with me. Which is probably why they expected him to show up by now. He even got to create his own new timeline and everything. And I put out that video yesterday that if he doesn't show up, people can't ascend because of him. Um, and then we're being attacked again. But the fact that my old DM liked to do coke, and that is what I had to clear out of the collective soul by myself, which was very, very painful and difficult. And I wish my new DM would show up just to give me that strength right now. Um... Now, all of a sudden, there's all of these cocaine busts. And it wasn't just the White House. There was this other uh, YouTube influencer with a, uh, I don't know, a singer and a YouTube influencer just got caught with coke. And all this coke exposure. And I was like, oh, shit. My DM would be tossing and turning on the other. He's not on the other side. He actually went into something else. I don't, I don't know what he became or what. But he, he died. And he, he had to go backwards. So I don't know if he became a fallen angel. They won't tell me. That's not for me to know. Because they didn't want me to feel guilty. I did feel guilty. I blamed myself for a little while for that. Because I just couldn't see clearly. And I and I went ahead and let him push me away. Um, and so I'm trying to tread lightly with my new DM. I don't want to say anything I don't mean. Because darkness is really good at getting us to do that. And, I, and I'm getting chills. And I don't want to assume anything about him. Okay. I don't want to assume that he doesn't care. I'm going to say he does care. I'm going to say he doesn't realize it. I'm going to say he doesn't understand the brevity of who he is because he wasn't that to begin with. Okay. Um, and it is a responsibility, but it's a blessing. It, it, not everybody has bestowed such a gift from God. Right. And so I don't want to say that he doesn't want to protect us. I'm going to say that he doesn't understand. And it was hard to see clearly because it was even hard for me to see clearly. And when I was attacked, he was attacked too. So he's a very sweet guy. But I want him to know that by my sweetheart not protecting his kingdom, we're in trouble. If he would come protect his kingdom, this shit wouldn't be happening. But De La Roca will be back. Okay, that's what they're telling me. They've only, they've only blocked his channel for a week or so is what I'm seeing. I don't know what he did to get it blocked. Um, again, it's it's a monetary value going through the portal with Sekhmet. So whatever they manipulated Sekhmet with to kill her dealt with sabotage and money and, and I believe drugs. That's why the, the alcohol in the river thing. Um, and so when I went through that, I was not, you know, I was, I was ignoring the self-sabotage nudges, but then it hit me hard again. Then all of a sudden my money stopped coming in. I got an eviction notice. I have 10 days to get out or pay. And all of a sudden, I was like, I can't do anything. And De La Roca was shut down. And so it's hitting a monetary value right now. I had said there is going to be a wave of sabotage. I asked Spirit this morning what's happening. Um, and I will pull a couple cards on it as well, just because I like to. It's fun. Um, I love my Crow deck too, by the way. I want to make my own. I have my own decks out, um, but I couldn't even afford to order my own decks. So I'm like, oh, they're there, but I can't show you how awesome my new deck is. Okay, so I asked Spirit what's going on, and it's a wave of sabotage, just like I thought. Because they told me when I went through the Sekhmet portal, this was all about sabotage. It was because I bypassed and ignored what they were trying to get me to do that I was able to do that portal. That's when that one came through. Okay. Um, this is retaliation at its finest. So like I said, at first it was prison threats. Then now all of a sudden it's a monetary value hit. So they cut down De La Roca's channel. Um, they're not doing it to others. They're only doing it to certain who are connected to the higher light. You know what I mean? Not, like, not that some aren't. Um, 
like Russell Brand. I looked at that this morning and he's still out there. So I don't know how many strikes De La Roca had either. Believe it or not, I've gotten strikes and I'm not even monetized. Okay, but some people will get a little wad up their little butt and they will say a complaint and they don't even know what they're complaining about. It's because they're the darkness. Okay, I've seen a lot of dislikes on my channel just since I did the Nile. Guarantee you they're not in the light. Okay, and they're just not seen clearly. Um, and that's, that's part of it. And just like I said yesterday, with my DM not showing up, it's hard for everybody to see clearly. Because we're the eyes of God. It's the eyes of Ra. It's the eye of, of uh, Horus. Sorry, my nose is running a little bit. Um, and so there is an aspect where the weight of the world is on our shoulders. It's just what it is. It's something I've had to come to. It's something my DM probably has to come to. And it's not just me he's affecting. He's affecting the whole entire collective whole. Because he won't step forward. And that's why God is saying now, it's like, if you can't be vulnerable, that's a problem. Because it's going to require vulnerability. Okay? And so, I love my DM. I don't want to assume he was like my last DM at all. Alright? And I get chills when I say that. I love him dearly. I don't blame him. But I could sure use him home. <laughs> because at this point, I don't know where I'm going to be in eight days. Um, because all of a sudden, my whole world started crumbling as well. So be aware of that. Okay, there's a big wave of retaliation. Um, I'm not trying to let it get to me because I know how this works. I know what I had to do when my first DM took off with a fallen angel. I had to sit back and not be in fear. I couldn't be in fear. I had to keep going and I just had to trust. I had to have faith and I had to trust. Um, and at this point, I have nowhere to go. I have no money coming in. It just all of a sudden did an abrupt stop. Um, so that's what this retaliate, retaliation is about. When I first started doing the ascension, I put money in a portal. Okay, so not all of it was cleansed. Not all of it is good. And so if you let money control you, you're in trouble. Okay, that's why I, I, I said this in my course last night because we started a four-day course for Balance for Prosperity. Because I'm like, mm-mm. Spirit says I have all these gifts coming and all these blessings. I'm not going to trust that my whole world is ending now. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of the smoke screen they're presenting. And that's what they like to do to make people afraid. That's what they did to you with the V. I mean, the V is a little more, but they do. They create these things. They create these things and then use them to scare the shit about, to scarify you, right? As Sully would say, I think that's right, Monsters, Inc. Scarify you. So, you know, I could use help. I know the whole collective, we could use some help right now. Um, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to turn to. Um, and, you know, last month it was like people were eager to help me, but I had everything paid. Everything was good. Things were still coming through like they should have been. And then all of a sudden they stopped and nobody seems to care. <laughs> And so, you know, when you see things like De La Roca getting shut down, and then I see somebody else roasting him, saying he's a cult. We don't even understand what a cult is. Warren Jeffries had a cult, okay? Dahmer had a cult. Um, the United Kingdom has a cult. Your presidency is a cult leader, okay? Um, they brainwash their people. That's what a cult is. And so that's why they like to spew the word cult towards light a lot. Okay, and that's why you'll see people like Teal Swan glorified, and then others like me chastised. So it's paying attention to what darkness is and what light is, because that's one of the portals into, into the heavenly gates, because they're open at this time. So there's no coincidence where I'm promised all this abundance and that I'm going to be okay, but they also thought the DM would be here. If the DM would come, I'm safe. When he doesn't, we're all in trouble. And they've been saying this since my original DM took off with a fallen angel. So I hope to God that they're not getting my new DM to choose into the darkness, but unfortunately they are. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to put this back. I didn't set an intention. Let me set an intention. Spirit, show us what we need to see, please. What is going on right now at this time? What is going on in the energies? What do we need to do? What do we need to know? Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Okay. 
and things they want more. Hang on. Three more cards. Three more cards, they said. <laughs> mm hmm I love these cards. They tell it like it is. Oop. Oh. There it was. All right. Yep. Okay, so, yep, all right. So here's the thing. Distance yourself from this distraction. There is mischief going on for a reason. It's a distraction, okay? That's what I keep hearing. 31, mischief. It's there for a distraction. It's like people are being ornery. There's orneriness here. You see these birds picking on the kitty. Uh, mischief, right? Three and a one is, is not a coincidence. Like, there's... 13 was also used against us. That's the heaven's gate. So pay attention to that. Okay. I did get bond. All right. There's a bond here coming through territory. You need to protect your territory. That's what it's saying. This is about territory and protecting your territory. Okay. Disting yourself from the mischief. All right. That's what they're saying. Make sure you distance yourself from that mischief. Hold on to the bonds that you have and protect your territory. Also be in balance. Okay. And then we have scavenge. Scavenge talks about not focusing on the lack, okay? But using what you have, utilizing the resources that we have, and preparing for more to come through. So when you focus on lack, that's just what I said the other day. It's like, I could sit here and go, my whole world's done. I have to quit my business. Because that's what it looks like. I had that person that attacked me in my academy do a lot of stuff to me. So... I'm being hurt every which way. It's not a joke. If my DM knew how much I was struggling because he hasn't shown up, maybe he would change his mind. I don't know. Um, but with that, like I, I spoke in my class last night. There's no coincidence I'm doing this class on the 777 portal. This is about maximum prosperity for abundance, balance from the heart space and things. And I had specifically said in there that I feel like this has to do with the Sekhmet portal. It has something to do with money. It has something to do with not falling prey to the darkness tactics. Okay. And so I could sit here and go, I'm done. I give up. There's nothing more I can do. I'm done. I can go into a negative space with my twin flame. He doesn't care. Blah, blah, blah. It's because of him that I'm suffering. And I could hate life. Uh, after everything I've done, people don't care to see me. Um, you know, nobody wants to buy my stuff. Nobody wants to do my courses. Nobody's understanding the relevance of the work that I've done. And I could sit here and literally go, I don't care. I wash my hands. I don't want anything to do with anything anymore. And I'm like, no, I know who I am. I know what I've done. And just because I'm not being validated by people, they can't even see it clearly right now. Part of that is because the DM hasn't stepped forward. Another part of that, unfortunately, is some of them will choose darkness. However, I have a choice. Okay? I can choose to panic and hate life and allow my whole world to end. Or I can choose to be very strong again. Ignore it and do what I need to do to use the resources I have and make preparations for the future. Okay? So... Claim your territory. Protect your bond. This is what they're saying. Distance yourself from the mischief, right? So whenever we get those nudges or those dark thoughts that pop into our head or those fears or vulner the feeling of vulnerability creates fear. But in truth, where there's love, vulnerability is a strength, okay? It's something that's a strength. And when you allow yourself to come into that, oh my gosh, it feels so good. And so many blessings come. Um, so it's understanding what's going on right now. They want me to pull one of these now. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So it's retaliation. Um, you know, De La Roca's channel was hit because he's bigger. Uh, Landry Anka doesn't create quite such a stir. But I feel like he talks about things a little bit more openly. And so that's why... He probably took a hit there, but, um, you know, you look at people like Russell Brand, who's not taking the hit, but he doesn't quite, he's not awake as much as De La Roca. De La Roca is a, is a star seed. He's connected to the higher light. He's part of the 144,000. Okay. 
And so that's where there is a lot of backlash and a lot of mockery and a lot of people calling him a cult. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we need to understand what a cult is. We need to really up our level of understanding about these things. Sad Guru is a false entity. He calls himself a guru. He has a lot of followers. Um, he's the only one I can find talk about the snake in my solar plexus when that happened to me. And he only had a tidbit of information that was accurate. But... I mean, just because he has some accurate information doesn't mean that the rest isn't freaking kookaloo. So, you know, we have to be able to decipher what is truth and what is not. A lot of the things they push at you are not of the light. Okay, that's the cult. The true cult that we're living under is your good old American leaders. And the British ones. So it's the monarchy and ours okay those are the cult leaders you've all been slaves you're all in a cult and it's time to wake up and de la groca is accurate in that this is the rapture um and i brought it about so i'm well aware of that and that's why they want to sway people from what is the light it's retaliation at its finest i also said i took away their bunkers i took away their ability to hide and now all of a sudden we have these leaks of this coke being exposed, and that's what my DM did. I'm like, look at that, we did clear it. And I'm like, high five wherever you are, but wait, I did it on my own. <laughs> if my new DM would come forward, I'd be like, high five, dude, we did this. He can get that credit with me, but I wish he would, I really do, because there's nothing to be afraid of. The only thing he needs to be afraid of is not showing up, because that's why Spirit's getting like, mm, he's not going to ascend. He's pushing it too far, he's not going to ascend. And he's getting blood on his hands because without him coming forward, people can't see clearly to make the right decisions. Okay? So that's why it gets me with free will is if there's a veil in front of your face, they're messing with your free will. And that's what they've done. That's what they did with the moon. And it all makes sense now to Sekhmet. It all makes so much sense now. So let's see what these cards have to say, Spirit, about what's going on with the energies right now. What do we need to do? What do we need to know? Is there a message here for anybody that we need to see? Okay, at least two or three in this deck they're saying. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay, look at that. There's a beautiful card right there. Oh, my gosh. That's for my DM. Well, and anybody else that resonates with their saying. But like, I'll show you why. Hang on, just... Just a second. Those. Okay, those. Oh, that was way more than two or three. Yeah. Oh, see? These are perfect. That's why they're saying all of those. Okay. So the first one that flew out, let me show you this. It has a king crown. The king crown right there. It's for the king. Okay, this is for anybody... To realize they're a leader of their own world, but also the number 12 is really standing out for me for my DM. Okay? Sing your own song. You have a purpose that's given from God. Do not let anybody sway you on that. Okay? It's not given. This is why he chose you, my DM, because he has a pure heart. So that means he expected him to not choose darkness. Okay? And he needs to know that, unfortunately, he's starting to hurt people. It's not just me anymore, but it's been me the whole time. Okay? And even through that, I'm like, I still love him. I don't want to blame him. I don't want to assume anything. I don't think he realizes what a good girl he's got waiting right here. And then Spirit just said, no, he does not. Okay. Overcome any obstacle. Overcome any obstacle. Nope. They're saying, so Spirit's saying they don't, he's got smoke screens going on. So his vision of me is not clear. So he doesn't realize what a good girl he's got here. He expects it's going to be. And why would God give him something that's not beautiful? Pay attention to what you're paying attention to, okay? Be fearless and bold. Be fearless and bold. So my DM did not choose me. He loved me. He was being thwarted the whole time. That's what you guys don't understand. Okay? Be fearless and bold. Sing your own song and overcome any obstacles. Trust in the magic, right? So no matter what's going on, Know that we are more powerful than that. Their little pussy ass retaliation ain't shit. This also 6-6. Six, six, okay, that's beware of your mind space. 
Trust the magic. Be aware of your mind space. Overcome any obstacles. This rhino skin is very tough. Right? Like, you can shoot me with an arrow, but it's not going to penetrate. Trust the great mystery. Trust the great mystery. Why do we have to know everything? That's that vulnerability. Step into the beauty because when things are validated without knowing, it's so much more beautiful than that. Okay? Give with gratitude and grace. Because that's how you receive. Give with gratitude and grace, please. Right? 6666 again. Don't let your mind space take over and convince you otherwise. We need to help each other. We really do. Because it's all this retaliation and everybody's so quick to, to, to trust the darkness for some reason. And they stab each other in the back. Rather than helping each other. And not everybody. People who work with me are good people. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, most people like will all of a sudden turn on people and stab them in their back and don't even know what they're doing. So be aware of your mind space. That's why our heart is more in tune than anything. Okay? Then also watch and wait. Watch and wait. Okay? So make no assumptions. Sit back and watch and wait. Because while De La Roca is being censored, the White House is having cocaine exposure by the, the Situation Room. <laughs> When I heard that, I'm like, oh, so that's what they use the situation room for. When I first had my awakening, I like traveled to the White House and I saw Mr. T in some room I've never seen. I was like, this is not the normal room. So I wonder if that's the situation room where I gave him that paper. So they go to the situation room to have a situation. <laughs> but, you know, and they're trying to blame it on his son. I guarantee you it's all of them. So what you guys don't realize is... You've been led by darkness for a long time, and they've gotten you to do things out of the light, and they're still doing it. And unfortunately, even my DM is now. That's how easy it is. So pay attention to what you're thinking about. Pay attention to what you're paying attention to. You know, if my life unfolds and I'm homeless, then what else am I going to do? I can't quit being me. I won't give up just because people refuse to see what's not darkness. And I don't think any of you should either. Okay, so don't let things deter you. Give with gratitude and grace even still, right? It's that scavenger mentality and distance yourself from the mischief and the naysayers and all of the people who want to hurt you. Just distance yourself. You don't need them in your life. Not everybody truly is your friend. Not everybody is truly there to help you. So be very careful who you listen to. I was going to show the workshop today for um, Nigeria, but I will save that. I needed to do this video. It was very important. I'm doing a live on Facebook at 11, and then I have day two of our course tonight. If you want to join the course, you still have time. It's always available for purchase anyways. This course is awesome. That's what I mean. It's like my whole world is falling apart on one side, and then on the other side, we're like, nope, the gates of heaven have been opened, and... I'm just looking for joy and love, and I don't want to go into a negative space about my DM. And so that's just where I'm staying, okay? But we do need to help each other because for some reason, well, they, people can't see clearly, unfortunately. 3333, if the DM would show up, they could. And they would stop being able to hurt so many people. So let's just pray for that. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. That's what they use against you. Don't have fear. That's what they use against you. And don't worry. Money is energy. There's either positive money or negative money. Depends on what you want to pay attention to. Okay? Give with gratitude and grace. Sing your own song. Be the king of your own world because others around you may not be there to help you anyways. Okay? Watch and wait. So don't make assumptions. The, the darkness can spew so much shit at us. Yeah, they can hurt us. But in the end, they can't win. Okay, so watch and wait. Don't panic. Don't give them power. But you need to protect your territory. So these are coming out again. It's like there is a bond here that is sacred. Sacred bond. Sacred bond. And you need to protect your territory. My DM does have the ability to protect the entire collective whole by protecting me, being with me, and doing the work he needs to do. That's a king. And that's true. And that's why what's funny is De La Roca was talking about the alpha male traits and the DM was supposed to be here and now he's been shut down. So 
I wish he would hear this video because I could sure use his help because I don't know where I'm going to be in a few days. If he would just come forward, I can make my world go round. We all can. Be safe. Be diligent. Pay attention to what you pay attention to and protect the bonds of love. Okay? Do not fall prey to any retaliation energies or fears that might come in. Right? Overcome any obstacle. You are tougher than you know. Okay? So much love to all of you. Pay attention to the portals because those are your rite of passage. You either fall prey to the darkness or you surrender to the light. It's your choice. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a beautiful, amazing, ever-loving day. And please like and subscribe to Ascend because I can help you, guaranteed. Pay attention to what a cult truly is, please. Till next time. Hasta la vista.